Today we're going to look at CASA Hubitat integration. How to get your CASA devices all working with Hubitat. You're going to need to get onto your uh, smartphone with the plug already installed on the CASA app and find the MAC address. What this will let you do is so uh, you can go into your router documentation and make this a static IP. Now the routers are all going to be different but uh, I'll briefly show you how I do mine. All I do is double click on the MAC address when I find that, click on make static and then I can open it up again, set the IP to whatever I want and leave a comment for the device to help me remember which device it is. After that you're going to need to go to the uh, website, there's links that I'll have down below and you're going to need to get the code for the Hubitat app that corresponds with CASA. Now if you click anywhere on the page here, you can go Control A to select all, then go into your apps code and we're going to click on new app and then Control V will paste that code in there. You're going to see on the top left where it says new app that's going to change to the name of CAS integration. That might also be something different if they change the firmware or the name of this code. At this point you can go into the drivers and do the same for pasting the drivers in. Copy it off the website as well, add a new driver and paste the code in. If you're not sure which drivers you're going to need, you can run the CASA app on your Hubitat and after the initial detection takes place, it'll tell you which drivers you need to install to get your CASA working. Now in my case, I know which two I need, so I'm going to download those and I can go through showing you the installation here as well. Simply clicking on the drivers, new driver, and paste the code that you got off the website. And as soon as the text change happens again, the drivers are in. Again, Control A will select all, Control V to paste. Click on save on the top right, and you're gonna see the spinning on the top left there again. Once that driver name changes, you can go ahead and exit. Great, so we're gonna assume that now that you have the drivers all installed, now you're gonna add a user app, CASA integration in this case, and install CASA devices. Now this is the section I mentioned earlier. If you're not sure which drivers to install, this will let you know the names of the drivers that you do need to install. So you can quite simply at this point, you can abort, go back to the drivers and add it if you've missed any drivers. If you do have your, all your drivers here, just click on all the devices you want, click on next, click on done. And at this point you can go up to your devices and you should be able to see all your new switches installed. And there they are. If you'd like to see more videos like this going through the basics of Hubitat, like uh, installing new rules or anything like that, leave some information in the comments down below. I'm happy to make more tutorials if there's people interested in watching them.